Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another uh, Ponage tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, configure screen flow for YouTube so that it will look fabulous. Um, so, yeah. Uh, many of us uh, screencasters out there uh, use a software which lets you capture uh, your screen in a little window that surrounds your mouse right around there and uh, you have the option to make that window the exact uh, size and resolution that fits YouTube which allows you for a very quick export that looks great and fills up the whole little YouTube search thingy. So, um, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make uh, ScreenFlow do that for you. Uh, so, the first thing you have to do is resize your window by clicking on that. Uh, and resize it to YouTube compatible dimensions. Uh, one of them is 300, I mean 640 by 300, no, by 480. So let's 481, 480, same thing. So, click on Apply. Now, take your uh, screen capture and make it so that it fills up the whole thing uh, without losing its constraints, if you will. So, you know, make it so that it fits the whole thing without looking weird. Okay? And you can make sure that it doesn't look weird by holding shift while you're resizing it. Anyway, so do that. It doesn't matter that there's a little leaking into the leaking out of the uh, frame. So once you've done that, um, you click on your main recording, go to call out action, and then click on add call out. Okay? Now you'll notice that your mouse, uh, well, the mouse in your screencast is highlighted and a little bit zoomed up. But, uh, since this is the exact right YouTube uh, format, uh, window size, if we make the mouse zoom up and make the border bigger, there you go. Exactly 100% like... One second exactly 100% like other screen cap casting tools and the cool thing about this is if you wanted to show your whole desktop for a little bit you could and if you don't you just add the call out and it's back to zoomed in on your mouse uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.